Wednesday. Welcome to Wake Up Legendary. My name is Joanne. I am the Director of Marketing here at Legendary Marketer, um, and I am pumped to be here. I've been excited all morning for this interview, um, and I'm so excited to connect with all of you. So if you are logging in, be sure to say good morning, good evening, whatever time zone you're in. Hello. Give me some emojis. Let us know how you're feeling today. All of that good stuff. And if you would like to get notified when we go live every morning, you can text the letters WUL to 813-296-8553. Um, we'll text you right after we go live a link directly to the feed and uh, you can hop on and join us and never miss an episode. Without further ado, let me welcome our amazing guest that we have today, Allison. Welcome to the show. Hi, how's it going? Happy to be here. Oh, I'm doing well. I was reading about everything, a little bit about you, checking out your TikTok and all of that good stuff. Um, and I just, I'm super pumped. So tell all of us where you were that you were even found legendary did you stumble on it were you looking for something give us like your your backstory sure so um as many are i was scrolling through instagram and i came across uh camilla markson's instagram post so like most people i followed her for a few months kind of just watching and, and following along and eventually i i dove into it and did the 15 day challenge and that's kind of how i i came across it and decided to give it a go awesome did you hop in and dive in right away? Did you take it slow through the challenge? How did you sure. how did you feel when you first joined? Like when you first grabbed it, where were you at? Yeah, so I was very fired up. I went through the first few days pretty quickly. And then as many, you know, other mothers are, I just had chaos hit. We had COVID illnesses during the summer. We went on vacation. So it, it delayed a little bit. So when I started in August, um, I didn't end up finishing it until probably mid-October because of chaos of starting school and all. So it took me some time, but I did eventually get through it and, and move forward. So I'm really excited that I did. Yeah. All right. So chaos at home. How many kids do you have? I have three kids and we are expecting a fourth um, next or this year in the summer. So very excited. A lot, a lot of changes. And today is actually my youngest first birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday. That's awesome. So we're definitely busy and I'm assuming, but please share with us. Mm -hmm. You had to figure out how to juggle the new schedule, right? Yes. So bringing yes. this in of just mm -hmm. learning first. How did you finally get into the rhythm to complete the challenge even and into your schedule? Sure. Yeah. So I did a lot during nap times. Um, my oldest is in school full time. My, my middle is in school three days a week and my youngest is home with me. So nap times, evenings after they all went to bed, weekends, um, I, I got through it that way. So it is it is hard to juggle it. But, you know, between that and I do work part time as well. You know, I was nice. able to fit it in and it's not, you know, they're, they're quick, quick days that you're doing the challenge. So I was able to fortunately throw it in there once once I got in a group. <laughs> right. Okay, cool. So we finally get through the challenge and you started posting. Did you start in the middle of the challenge? Did you wait till the end? Did you dive in? Couldn't wait to make videos? How did you feel about all of that? Uh, so making the videos is super awkward at first. Um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, so I waited till I got through the challenge and, you know, the end of the challenge, you can get through pretty quickly, but, um, I waited till the end of that. I kind of did some, some research and made sure all the social media accounts that I was looking to have my name be were all available before doing all that. So I did get everything set up in the background before actually doing my, my official post, um, in early November. Okay. Perfect. Did that part come easy to you? The tech side? The tech side, yes. Yeah, I have a background in operations, administrative, and a lot of technical support. So that wasn't that wasn't too terrible. But, you know, the videos and in instructional videos that, that you all share with the challenge, you know, definitely make it easy. Yeah, definitely. Cool. I love it. So how did your, your partner feel about this? <laughs> 
So currently, he doesn't know, which is really funny. Um, <laughs> okay, I so we have a secret business. Yes, yes, it's funny. I mean, I definitely talked about it, and he's he was pretty skeptical. Um, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. And I work from home already, so that's that's kind of my my goal. Is I can't wait till I finally get to that point to be like, hey, surprise! Look what I've been doing. Um, so he's he's definitely skeptical. He supports me all the time, but I kind of want it to be a little bit of a surprise. Like, look what I did. So when the time comes. I'll definitely share how that experience was with him. Okay. I love, okay. Okay. So definitely we're, we're all about, you know, supportive spouses and mm -hmm. all of that. But at the same time, if you feel like that's a boundary you need to have right now. Um, but like Jay says, he's like husband of the year when it comes to this, like he's mm -hmm. just the living example. He's like, get him involved. He'll yeah. love it. He'll want to help. But I know it's only a matter of time. Cause I know, you know, once I actually show him everything, um, he'll be super pumped for me and, and probably want to be on board too. So eventually okay. the time will come. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, I'm excited for that day and you'll have to come back and let us know how that was. <laughs> how that went yeah um, yeah we have like a already a to be continued exactly. <laughs> down the line, I, know. I want to know be, how that went right it's gonna sure. be funny right <laughs> i'll make sure i get it on video okay so how do you walk us through a week because you you have a part-time job you mm -hmm. have three kids you're dealing with morning sickness yes. and how and you're still pumping out content trying um recently i have been pretty pretty bad about it unfortunately because i swore when i started this you know consistency was going to be my word but um yeah this this go around my fourth time being pregnant has been a little bit rough um in the last few weeks but um aside from that my day typically you know i i do drop off since i am at home and i fortunately do work from home already before starting this um mm -hmm. i do drop off and then i i typically come home it's it's nap time so that's a big two to three hour chunk where i do get a lot of my work done and that's, you know, where I found is the best time to do content. But, um, you know, from what I've been told and, and from others who are doing it, who shared their experiences, you know, mm -hmm. I, I swear anything is content, you know, driving down the road, doing your makeup, brushing your teeth, you know, okay. anything you can take a video and, and, and put some words on there. So, um, yeah, so then they're in school, I, I come home, I get work done, they're, they're taking naps. And then after it's kind of just, you know, the, the chaos of having children at home during, during dinner time, but it tends to be during the morning, during naps, and then in the late evenings that I do most of my content and, and juggling that way. But we are finally into the, the sports era of, of my oldest. So I, I do wow. coach her for basketball and lacrosse. So, you know, with the chaotic schedule, you know, you can fit it in somewhere if, if you're real, if you're willing to do it. That's a whole other can of worms if you're coaching as well. Cause I, I know how that goes. I know how lacrosse is all by mm -hmm. itself. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's definitely a sport we've been a part of in our oh, family nice. our house. Um, I think that's the best youth sport, by the way. It's my favorite as a mom. How about that? <laughs> yeah, it's it's fun. I love it. Um, I played lacrosse and basketball growing mm -hmm. up. Um, basketball was always my favorite, but I was definitely better at lacrosse. So I did end up playing um, playing in college at lacrosse. But I love coaching in general. So now that my oldest, you know, is of age, it's so much Amazing. fun to coach her for for all her sports. Awesome, love it, love it. So mm -hmm. there's something that you mentioned really briefly that I want to go into a little bit more. Mm -hmm. with just making content and that you found it easy and filming. But in the beginning, this is where a lot of our members really struggle because they're comparing themselves or looking at other affiliates they know mm -hmm. um, that are just further on down in the journey. They're in a different stage of their strategy. Um, so what did you do when starting out to really create content? How did you plan it? What did you put out mm -hmm. um, that really helped grow your audience? Sure. So in the beginning, and if you were to scroll all the way to my initial videos when I first started, I think most most of mine are maybe a picture of me, but have all the words covering my face so you can't see me at all. Right. I'm not talking at all. It definitely took probably until the last month, month and a half where I actually spoke on it. Um, mm -hmm. But it was definitely just a video of me with word with words all over my face. And then as the weeks you know went on, I, I kind of took that off and at least had the, the time delay for the words going across 
across. So it's definitely super awkward and uncomfortable um, and totally got secondhand embarrassment at, on the first ones. But okay. I feel like you finally just hit that hit that point like a month in where you just have that F this mentality, like whatever, mm -hmm. like if this is going to help me reach my goal. Who cares? Like I'll embarrass myself, whatever. Um, so yeah. And then it was finally, I started talking and it's definitely really weird. And you're like, ew, I hate my voice. This is so funny yet embarrassing. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I feel like you just get comfortable with it as each one, each one goes on each one you post, you just get more and more comfortable with, with posting it. <laughs> what topics did you talk about a lot at the start? Um, I think it was more informative at the start because obviously you don't have much success or really commissions coming in. So it's more about, you know, what it is being informative and telling, you know, the success of others and that being consistent, staying with it, you know, really will, will show you that it works down the road. Right. I think there's this hang up that when we're starting out, we're, we label ourselves a newbie, mm -hmm. but that also puts us in a hole that we don't have something to offer someone else, but just going through the challenge, you're in a different place than someone that's just scrolling on Instagram or scrolling right. through TikTok that mm -hmm. doesn't know about this. You've already on day three, you're learning about funnels. You're learning new language, new vocab, <laughs> new yeah. everything. Um, day four, you're mm -hmm. learning all about mindset and maybe where there are some areas where you can adjust your mindset mm -hmm. and make those adjust, you know, changes and tweaks. And you start making those changes. Mm -hmm. And then those are all pieces you now can share with your audience. Absolutely. That someone else can benefit from because they don't have that information yet. So it's not always about money. Right. Everyone gets hung up. I can't do content unless I can post money. Right. No, most likely it's going to get taken down and yeah. people go, why was my video flag? Because you posted yeah. money in it. Mm -hmm. um, so Been there. <laughs> people don't want necessarily, they, they want to see your journey. Mm -hmm. They want to see a result of a different life, a different daily life, not necessarily money. Mm -hmm. They want to see, oh, I, you have time to coach two sports with your kids yeah. instead of having to work overtime. Right. Right. There's those different, you get to have new choices and you get to share those new choices. That's really where you start out is remembering and having and believing in yourself, have the self-confidence. I am learning something mm -hmm. and I know something more than someone else out there in this. And that's what you share. There's yep. always someone just behind you and you just can't compare yourself to somebody that's a few steps ahead. It'll shut you yeah. down. Absolutely. And, and that's definitely what I tried to focus on. You know, you obviously have a lot of affiliate marketers out there who do have crazy successful stories from the beginning, from the first week. And that would be ideal. But the reality of it, right. of it is that's not the case for everyone. So I try to keep that in the back of my mind where, you know, I may not have that from day one or from the first week. But, you know, if I can stick to it and, and as I wrote before, you know, have those short term goals that then the long term will fall right into place if I stick with it. Yeah, definitely. I love it. And it all comes back. Stick with it. If you really li listen to all, it's all about consistency. It's such a, it's like, it's that simple, but it's just not easy. Right. So it's, it's, it's almost true. like changing a habit. Mm -hmm. It is changing a habit. Not almost. It is. It's changing habits. It's changing mm -hmm. your schedule. What do you think helped you I know it's a little hard right now. You're still struggling. It's a work in progress. Yeah. But what helps you the most stay consistent? I find when I do my content the same time of day and not just, you know, creating content for just that day, but if I can get a two hour period of kind of just pumping out a bunch of content and I have it saved in my, in my drafts, then I'll stick with it throughout that whole week is, is that same time of day. I'll then create the content for the whole day, get everything ready to go and mm -hmm. then be able to post it the certain times a day that, that I'm looking to. So everything is pretty much set and ready to go. It's just the, the posting um, portion mm -hmm. of it, you know, that I, I set alarms for throughout the day. <laughs> right. I think that's the best way batch mm -hmm. it up and have a set time. This is when I'm going to create content. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, create a bunch of B roll. 
Mm -hmm. that when you get an idea randomly, you can just throw some text on and post it and be done. Yes. Right? yes. And you have the video ready to roll. <laughs> it's so true. And I think in the beginning too, you know, um, you know, the music is great. And before you have like the thousand followers, you have so much music you can pick from. So I feel like a lot of my early on posts were definitely just music that I liked. Um, it was also, I feel like a lot of movie quotes. Um, I, I love comedy. And so, I, and I really like, um, you know, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore. So I definitely did a lot of um, funnier movie quotes from back then. So I, I tried to make it funny initially, you know, to get to get followers and to get people to follow, follow my, um, all my But that's the point is you're bringing, you're showcasing your personality. Mm -hmm. These are things I love. These are things that make me laugh. And I want to have build a community mm -hmm. that feels the same way about them. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And then it builds the trust. You're building the relationship. Nobody wants to be like, hey, buy this link in bio. Peace. Yeah. Right. They want to know what else is there that's going on. Mm -hmm. There has to be more substance when it's you, your face, your name on screen. Mm -hmm. You're building a personal brand and you got to get a little personal when you're doing that. Absolutely. And I think it's less awkward and less embarrassing when you make it funny. <laughs> right. You might as well have, enjoy it. Right. It shouldn't be miserable. Right. I can make fun of myself. All good. <laughs> have you gone live yet? I have not. That's definitely next, next in the game. Once I actually am past this first trimester here. <laughs> Right. You don't want to have, a, you know, a bout of morning sickness while you're alive. That might be, you know, a little interesting, really keeping it real. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> yes, very, very, very true. And as I'm sure everyone else is right now, the winter has just crushed us. So between myself being sick, mm -hmm. I, you know, I feel like we go 12 hours, maybe a day with one of my kids not sick. And then here we go again, the cycle continues. So I have one sick upstairs, one napping is just... It's constant. I'm ready for warm weather now. <laughs> right. I don't, I think it's just, everyone's just catching everything right now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Okay. So when will you feel ready to share this with your spouse? You think? I'm holding feel you back there. I know. I know. I, I don't want to put like a number on it or anything, but I'm hoping comes, come summertime, like the, the kids okay. be, will be done school. We'll, you know, be a few months away from, from having our fourth. That, that I think is, is my, my goal here. Okay. Okay. I definitely really encourage you to mm -hmm. share this with your loved ones as you're he's, growing. He's going to crack up. He's going to be like, you're crazy. Like my, my best friend knows I'm doing it. My sister. Um, and they're, they're all about it. They, I'm like, Oh my God, check this post out. So embarrassing, but it's really funny. And they're, they're all, they're all for it. And, and they're cracking up. Cause they're like, I can't wait till you finally tell him. <laughs> okay. So you're, you make a video, uh -huh. you, you totally share it with your friends and your sister and say, mm -hmm. this is so embarrassing. And you still hit post. Right? Oh yeah, whatever. I mean, I, I, maybe right? it's just a mom thing, a parent thing. I feel like you just get to the point you're just like, or like I embarrass myself singing to my kids during the day in front of people, like whatever. Right? But that's where people get hung up. Mm -hmm. Which they I go, totally oh, that's agree. embarrassing, and they don't post it. Yeah. I feel so, like the best way to get past it is like just make fun of yourself. Like it, who who cares? It's it's funny. Like if you just have to be light with it and just laugh. Right. It's just not life or death. It's mm -hmm. not the end of the world. Like someone shared it. It's no one's searching you out to go, Oh, did you see that video they posted four weeks ago? And, and if you know, so, I probably already laughed about it myself. <laughs> I think I, during one interview, I really love this advice. They actually don't even rewatch their, their videos before they post them. Because mm -hmm. they'll find something wrong. And we do. We are our biggest critic. Right. It's so hard on ourselves. They just create and post mm -hmm. and let it happen. Sometimes the volume wasn't on. Didn't matter. Still performed. Yep. Love it. Tomorrow's a new day. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Whatever. Right? You just post and go. Post and go. And look at the numbers. Mm -hmm. What are the views? What's my audience telling me? What can I change? Right. What can I adjust? What can I try different? And sometimes, 
like even with looking at people that are in blueprints and our live trainings every day that are sharing their accounts um, and looking at their content. Right. Sometimes it's just doing the same piece, but testing different hooks at the very beginning. Mm-hmm. Like the video is fine. We just need a different hook in the first three seconds. That's it. Right. So, Take the same video and just add in a new. <laughs> it's it's so true. You know, I I would do that, and you know, at the beginning, you're like, yeah, I don't really know what to do. I mean, obviously, I want to be informative, but I don't really know how to go about it or what music to pick. Sorry, my my middle just came down here. If you hear her going for chips, oh, no, um, but. I feel like by following other affiliate marketers, you know, you kind of get the vibe that they're going for and you can see their success and what they're posting. So, you know, you're obviously not doing it word for word, exactly what they're doing. You're kind of putting a little spin on it, uh, you know, of what you would do, but you get an idea of the information that people are, are enjoying and what they like and, and giving it a little bit of your own touch. So if you're not sure of what to post, you know, look at other people's posts and see what they're having success with and then put your own spin on it. Yeah, and see how they made it their own, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it's it's that own spin. We keep saying, hey, put your own spin on it. But mm-hmm. I think people really struggle with that. But it's look at look deeper into why they said it. Right. What was the goal there? Who were they? Who was their audience? And then make it go to your audience, your mm-hmm. product, whatever it is that you are promoting, if you're in travel or, you know, relationships or in the wealth niche, it's just look at who do you want specifically and make those tiny adjustments and then make it to you, Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. All right. So what is your, in your busy life, your next set of goals for yourself in your business, your, your next small goals that you have, because that's really key is little goals along the way. <laughs> what's, what's next for you on the list? Um, well, I definitely need to get back to being consistent. So hopefully okay. this, this week and next week that starts, that starts to pick up. Um, definitely that going live is, is next. Um, okay. And then I do want to start branching out and doing affiliate marketing for other companies. So I really mm-hmm. have only been focusing on this. I kind of wanted to get my feet wet and, and get it right. set in stone moving forward. And so I am looking to kind of branch out and see what other businesses that I can start affiliate marketing for too. Awesome. I love that. I definitely agree. When you're first starting out, pick one product, (laughs) whatever it may be, and learn, go through all the hoops with that one, make it work. And then the next one that you do, even if it's in a totally different niche, the next Mm -hmm. one, you just are armed with more knowledge, information, right. and can get it rolling a lot quicker. Exactly. And you've already done it once. It's just going through the process again. Yeah, definitely. I love that. Very cool. All right. Are you nervous about going live? Not really. I feel like now that I'm past the making a video of me talking, I feel like it's kind of the same. I mean, obviously, people can come in there and con- and comment, but... Mm-hmm. I feel like when in doubt, I just laugh. <laughs> Do you have negative comments that happen a lot or like trolls and um, content or not so much? Not so much. Um, I feel like the most of the posts that come in that are just not, I wouldn't even say not positive are just your typical ones that come in where people are promoting it, which is going to then give you more, more views anyway. So, you know, when I initially saw it, I was like, who is this person? And I deleted it. And then the more it came and I looked into it, into other affiliate marketers that I, then I understood it. So that's really it. I haven't really had too many negative comments. And I mean, if they come in, it is, it is what it is. I'll just ignore them. Yeah, definitely. So you're on TikTok, correct? I am. And then you also have an IG. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you like better? Um, I definitely like TikTok. And then I do, and then I turn around and, and share the same thing on Instagram. But as many others have gone through, I, you know, my account was just recently suspended. So it took a few days. So I think I'm at that point now too, where I'll probably create another one kind of as a backup to get more views. So I finally have reached that point. So I think I'm going to do another one or two just to, in case that happens, I still have these other ones rolling. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And, um, 
it's funny how people it's 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 great how people have their favorite platform mm -hmm. and it just doesn't matter where you start pick the one you love the most right. Right. <laughs> and then branch out mm -hmm. right it's very true and tiktok i swear is so motivating between all the the cleaning tiktoks and and organizing i'm like man this is i'm loving this oh you're on clean talk huh oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, if only now it would share into into my house once I feel better. <laughs> right. Okay, so that honestly, guys, listen to that. That's a really nice little golden nugget. If you are marketing to moms, where else are moms at on mm -hmm. TikTok? They're looking at cleaning videos maybe. <laughs> I probably am not. I'm not that mom. I, you know, I always joke with my husband the vacuum doesn't fit in my hand. Um <laughs> But um, looking at where the, the audience you're trying to reach, what are their other interests than diving into those hashtags, diving into those content, those pieces of content um, and tying that into your own to be able to grab them and hit, get your content on their mm -hmm. page, right? Get onto their explore page, all of that. Um, stop using hashtag affiliate marketing, nobody's searching for that except other affiliate marketers that are exactly. researching. <laughs> so you're not going to grab your audience. Mm -hmm. Nobody's searching TikTok affiliate marketing. Um, they're, they're looking for other ways. So you've got to be able to grab them with great content and mm -hmm. value with interests beyond just making money. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. Abs absolutely. You know, not only, I mean, obviously the money is fantastic because it, you know, allows you to free up and, and have more time and, and you're it's just different. But I think for me, it was, it's the time. It's knowing that down the road when I, when I reach these goals that it's going to give me more time, which is what I want. You know, when, when I graduated, you know, I was looking for a job and all that, but it's, it's just so different once you become a parent that your, your goals, at least for myself, you know, change slightly. And I just want to spend more time with my kids before they, they flee the nest. Right. Oh, and that's your content right there. That's right. your real why. Mm -hmm. There's always a deeper why. Yeah. And that's a huge one. And there's, a lot if your audience is moms like it is i believe for you mm -hmm. that's a huge one that's what moms want to see they they want that opportunity right you know if they can have more time with their kids awesome how do i do that how do i make mm -hmm. that happen what does that look like and that's the type of content you then show them and display um and you don't need to be rolling in six seven figures <laughs> to be able to display that Right. Right. Yeah. Very cool. So what would you say to somebody in the challenge right now at the beginning? Um, I would say obviously consistency, like I said before, knowing that, I mean, although, like I said, it's ideal for you to reach, you know, those figures right at the beginning, that might not be the case. So instead of setting, you know, setting yourself up, think of short term goals. I think that's what I initially did. You know, I, I went through the challenge. I'm like, okay, let's get through day one, then day two, review what, you know, I've learned so far, meet with the advisor, which is just amazing in itself and, and go through the process. So then I can set up my goals, which you do in the, in the challenge, you set my goals for, you know, what's, what's the purpose, what I want to do moving forward. And I think having short term goals is what kept me motivated to, to continue to move forward. So, mm -hmm. you know, after finishing, the challenge. I was like, okay, first and foremost, let's, let's get, you know, all the pages, the social media accounts that I want to make sure that they're not taken on one versus the other. So I definitely did that. Um, I actually did already have, um, an LLC. So when I met with, um, the, the attorney mm -hmm. that you all had provided that kind of, you know, I was able to use that one. Fortunately, that was already all set up, but cool. I feel like, um, you know, having short-term goals, so setting that and then, you know, first and foremost, finally getting that post after you have, you know, your funnels all set up and, and your, your email autoresponder and just, okay, my goal for the first week is to, I mean, it was crazy, but I was like, I want to post eight to 10 videos a day. So that way I can get a bunch of videos under my name. Cause you think if you get to someone's right. account and they have like 10 posts, I'm just like, yeah, maybe they don't really know what they're talking about. Right. And then I feel like, you know, after that first week, it was then 
between four and six posts a day for that full full month. And I, I was really consistent with it. And as you can see, as the videos go along from my first one till now, they definitely evolve and, and change over time. And I'm mm -hmm. definitely more confident. So having those short term goals, doing doing the posts, and then it was, you know, my next goal after that first week was trying to get to a thousand followers. So, I mean, that was my goal. And I just knew with the views and the followers from my post that I just needed to consistently post to get to that point. So I could post my link. Wow. That there was a lot of nuggets in that little <laughs> segment, guys. <laughs> it was a lot of content. Yes. I know some people are like, Whoa, that's a lot of content. It but was, I had to get down. Down. Like, like, we're doing this. That's it all. Like mm -hmm. I got 45 minutes right now. I'm mm -hmm. going to make six, 10 second videos. Mm -hmm. They don't need to be these big productions. Right. And I think that's what you need to focus on the 10 second videos. Cause at the beginning, that's all I did. I didn't do the three minute long ones talking, but like right. 10 seconds, like it could be the same video, just different words on it. Right. Exactly. It just changed the, even the same theme, just change mm -hmm. the change. Like I said, change the hook, change the order, mm -hmm. right. You know, add in different call to actions. Be exactly. sure to comment. Let me know. X, Y, Z, how you feel about this. Be sure right. to hit that like button. Right. And when you do the call to action, sometimes it's good to try a hook call mm -hmm. to action and then the value piece. Cause then you have that call to action even sooner in the video. Right. And I totally agree. Shorter videos, just so mm -hmm. you get that, those analytics. Mm -hmm. of, hey, somebody just watched eight seconds of a 10 second video mm -hmm. instead of eight seconds of a 30 or 60 second video. Right. The, the percent of watch time difference that suddenly happens, like go, go into those 15 second videos, make them do the shorter ones, let them loop mm -hmm. all day long, yeah. um, especially when starting out and just get that content out. I love it. Pump that page. Mm hmm. And it's new. I know it seemed crazy, but I was like, you know, I, I just, I have to do it. I got to get content on my page. <laughs> right. And that's the best way. And it doesn't need to take like eight hours, mm -hmm. just a little chunk. Don't look for perfect. Right. Get some clips, throw some text on. Mm -hmm. If you're comfortable talking, do that. Add the captions, always add the captions guys. Yes. And focus on those hooks all day long focus on the, those first three seconds of right how and, you're I, and i do recommend saving um your captions you know whether it's in your notes page or what because you'll see the ones that start working you can then use those same ones for a different picture a different a different post that you're gonna do Ooh, that is a great tip. So where do you save all of your text on screen and captions right in my notes section on my phone and then you just go and grab Yep, copy paste. Just building content, you mm -hmm. know, and even if you're sitting there before a practice or mm -hmm. waiting at school pickup. Oh, yep. let me oh that's yep, that's a revolving one, the school pickup phrase mm -hmm. in here that I can add when I film tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Right. And you already have stuff building and growing. And I love it. So many great tips. I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming on today, Allison. Absolutely. Love having you on. Everyone, please go give Allison a follow on TikTok and Instagram at Make Money with Allie. A L L I E is how she spells it at the end. So Make Money with Allie on TikTok and Instagram. It is the same handle on both. So you'll be able to there's no spaces, dot, dashes, none of that. So it's just straight through Make Money with Allie. Um, thanks again for coming on the show. And you definitely need to come back and give us an update, okay? I will. All right. Awesome. Take care. Bye. All right, everyone. Wow. So many nuggets about content when starting out. Definitely, if you missed anything, go back, rewatch it. Start writing down all your ideas and start pumping out that content. Um, you can do this as, even though you are a beginner, you still have something to share. You have gifts to share, go out and share them. Um, if you wanna be on the show and featured, I saw that question earlier, um, you can go to legendarymarketer.com backslash featured, um, fill out the form, no matter what niche you're in, 
whatever products you're promoting, we want to feature you. If you have a growing, building, booming business, we would love to have you on the show. So fill out this form here. Um, and as always, stay legendary and I will see everyone tomorrow. Peace.